Hey guys, it's me Eddie here and welcome back to another YouTube video. Well, today I want to talk about something very important for young people. For the young people who are wasting their life in dumb things because they believe that, you know, they say those words that, oh, I am young, I don't need to worry. In fact, you need to worry much more now because when you get old, when you pass 30s, you're not young anymore, right? You're over 30, you're 40, and then you will regret for your whole life that you haven't done things that you should have done at a young age. But let's, let's not say about that. That's not my point today. My point is that when you have dreams, you know, you have dreams your whole life that you want to accomplish. But it's different when you're a young kid, like six, seven years, and when you're 16 and above. For example, let's take a quick example, a simple one that anyone can relate to. When you see a little kid that starts to walk for the first time in his life, you know, you see that kid start walking and you're impressed. You're, wow, come on. When he, and he falls down, right? And everyone's like supporting him, everyone around him, families, whoever is there, saying like, come on, come on, come on, stand up, stand up, you have to walk. Don't fall down, stand up, you have to stand up and you have to walk again. Come on, Jimmy, come on, Eddie, come on. Whatever the name is, they support you. That happened to you, to me, to any young person over there. They got the, everyone's support, every family members support when they were a young kid when they started walking you fell down everyone was like stand up stand up stand up you have to stand up come on you have to be strong come on stand up walk again well it all changes when you get 16 17 18 21 and you know around this age is because now you're young and you're more stronger you don't need much support that's what they believe that's not true right so i have me personally i'm gonna talk about my personal life a bit so i quit school a year ago almost a year ago and it was my last year of high school and i didn't finish it when i didn't finish it when i quit everyone you know saw me as a loser because I didn't finish school you shouldn't have quitted school I don't regret a single percent that I have quitted because in loose space of one year I have learned more than I have ever learned in 12 years of school including elementary school and high school 12 years I have learned more in just one year than I ever learned in 12 years from school. I have learned the most important things that school never teaches you. But your parents, your family, your uncles, your grandparents, your friends, people around you, the people you have on your circle, the people you love most, are the ones who will try to stop you from chasing your dreams now we have dreams right we don't you have dreams but we don't sleep i'm not the one who sleeps i have a big dream but i don't sleep because i don't want to see that while i'm sleeping i want to live it in reality i tell my parents i have a dream to become a youtuber i have a plan how to become a successful youtuber and i will work for it What's the thing? How are you gonna get successful? Why do you believe that you will get successful in YouTube? Have you? Who has ever been successful on YouTube? You know? They still live, you know, old school. Now we are living in the 21st century. Your school will not get you rich, either your job. Have you ever seen anyone who had just one job, just one job, feel happy for the life he's had he has now is he free no because if he quits the job or if he gets fired his life will 
shattered like a glass. But parents don't mention this. They instead mention that you need to go to school, you need to get a job, you need to save money, you need to get out of debt, buy a house, buy a car, get married. I mean, personally, I, I don't see nothing wrong with getting married, but I don't want to marry at such a young age. I don't want to go to Italy or Switzerland to get married. You can take me to Switzerland for work. I will work. I don't hate work. But not to marry. I'm not gonna marry. I don't want to fucking marry right now. I'd rather marry at 35 than marry at 20 with someone who will leave me for no fucking reason. For a girl who will cheat you, will take all your money, will lose your time, get your energy and whatever. I don't want to do that. Anyways, now the point, my point is that parents live in a different life or live also in a different life that they still believe that that way of life they had before works still today. It doesn't. It doesn't work today, especially in 2022 where you can have millions of opportunities to become a bit successful you know, or learn. You have YouTube today. In YouTube you can learn anything for free. You just have need to have at least five hours and put on something you want to learn about and you will learn it. In YouTube, all for free. Well now, parents don't know about this because they don't know, they have no, uh, you know, knowledge about technology, that technology can make you rich, your phone can make you rich, your laptop, your computer can make you rich, but they don't know that because they still believe that your job is going to make you rich, school is going to make you rich, well maybe it did 60 years ago, but not now. That plan your parents had to become rich once, it's not going to work today, it doesn't work anymore. Instead, when you have dreams as a young man, the people around you, the people that you love or need to support you, but if they don't support you, then do they really care about you? When, you tell, when I tell my parents I have a dream to become a YouTuber, they don't tell me, they, don't, they never say, how can I help you? Nor my uncles, nor my family, my friends, they never say, how can I help you? But they instead say, oh, no, this doesn't work, you need to get a job, it's a shitty thing to try YouTube, blah, blah, blah. Do you know how I feel when I get told that my dreams are not worth anymore? Actually, are not worth anything by people, by, by the people I look up to, I love, by the people I care. Do you know how I'm, that makes me feel? That makes me feel to, to get on top of the building and just throw myself. I tell my, my parents that by the age of 35, I don't want to work anymore. I will have maybe five kids. I want to have five kids with the wife I marry. And I will take care of my kids after that. I, I will never do a single thing after 35. Just take care of my kids. Love my kids, love my wife, love my parents, love the people around me, the most important people around me. But I'm not gonna quit the things I'm doing if I'm poor. Because at age 35, I have the perfect plan that I will follow. And that plan will not come to pass only if I die and get sick. And I know that. I have thought about that. Only if I die, this plan will never come to pass. I want to become a successful YouTuber. It's not gonna work. Get a 9 to 5. Work. Work for your whole life. Be a slave to someone else. Why? I don't want to be that slave. I don't want to work 40 years of my life and... Maybe... I, when, I, when I hit 50... Barely build a house. Live in that house. That house has bills, that house has expenses. How are you gonna pay those expenses when you have one job or when you don't have a job? That one job will barely pay those expenses, right? 
Let me show you a quick example that I want every kid, every young person over there watching this video to show to their parents the same thing. Let's say this, this is your life and this is you on top, right? And this over here is your job. This is how your parents want you to live life. This is just your job. You don't have any other income, only your job. Now, you get fired, you fall. You quit your job, for example. You fall, you have no income then. You have no income. Imagine, your job can fire you at any moment and give no fuck about. They don't care. There are millions of people who want to work for someone else. How hard it is for that person to call someone else, do the same job as you. You will get fired and they will give zero fucks about. They don't care that you have children to raise or rent to pay. They don't care. But this is when you have at least four or five streams of income. This is your life, this is you, and this is four incomes from different things. YouTube, real estate, Bitcoin, what else? Companies. Imagine this, right? Let's say YouTube fails. Let's say that. You still have three, right? You have three. Let's say real estate fails after years of YouTube failure. Now you have two incomes. You're still holding it. So tight. Because when you have more streams of income, when you have four, five, or even seven streams of income, if something fails, you have other things. But when your job fails, you have nothing. Now, I'm not saying you don't need a job. A job is so important, it will get you money. But you don't have time to do the things you want. You don't have time. You, don't, you cannot travel, but you have money. It's true, you, you, you will always have money when you do a nine to five job. But where are you taking the money? Are you investing in things that make sense? Or are you just that person who gets the money, buys alcohol, buys cigars, goes to parties, buy clothes, buy cars, buy stupid things, and have no money at the end? This is what our parents are telling us. This is what our parents, our families, friends, or people around us believe that it is good for us. Why? Because we are young. It's great, they care about you. That's amazing, I respect that they care about me. But that will not work. It didn't work for you, it will not work for me either. That was the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this, subscribe and share this to parents. Share this to everyone in your family. Peace.